The Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2014 has selected Firelight going to the Eurovision Song Contest, but the prize has been handed over from the current winner to Firelight. It is Emily De Forest. We have her right in front of us. Emily, what did you think of the show? I think it was a great show, and I really like the winner. It's a bit, I think, Mumford and Sons inspired, and that's my style. I like it. <laughs> I know I asked you that in, already in the press conference, but I would like to have it for our listeners too. What advice, as a count winner, would you give Firelight? Um, I think my advice would be that you should really enjoy, enjoy your time because everything around you happens so fast, and and I mean, don't be too stressed because I think I joined, but at times I'm stressed too. So that's my advice. Enjoy it. Don't be stressed. In May you will be handing over the trophy in Copenhagen to another winner of the Eurovision Song Contest. What will you do then? Will you go back to your account, to your job you had before Eurovision? No, no. I mean, it, I've always been doing music touring. It was just a job besides music, working at cafe, uh, baker shop. But I was, I will always do my music. But I'm looking forward to uh, give the trophy to a new winner and celebrate him or her. So that's amazing. You performed a fantastic song tonight uh, on stage. I believe is it the follow up to your winning song? Yes, it's my new single Rainmaker and it's the first time I ever performed it and it's actually the official uh, Eurovision song, uh, the Joiner song for 2014. It, it's called the uh, Rainmaker. Rainmaker. The Rainmaker. Why do you call it the Rainmaker? I thought it was a really cool word. I hadn't heard a song with that title and I was thinking about it and I wanted to do a song with that title and then I was in Sweden in Stockholm riding with uh, my boyfriend Jacob and a guy called Frederick. A tribe like Native Americans out in the desert, and uh, the land is dried out, so they are calling for the rainmaker mm -hmm. to make the land bloom and bloom and make uh, the rainfall. One thing I've noticed: that all the performances you do, you have never shoes on. Why? Um, it's something I've always been doing since I was a little girl when I started performing, and I feel more comfortable. Uh, you know, before going on stage, I can be a little nervous, and if I wear high heels, I get very shaky. So I need to be grounded to feel secure. Well, you realize that the uh, winning, uh, the winning song of 1967 also was bare feet. Yes, you I as well? know. I know. <laughs> There's been a couple of winners with bare feet, so maybe it's you know good luck thing. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. I think we do need to tell the listeners who can't see us, of course, at the moment. But, uh, Emily is doing her press conference here in bare feet. Yes. I only had some sneakers with me and I didn't think it looked good for the dress, so I'm, I'm just bare feet now. <laughs> I think that's above and beyond the call of duty, Emily, really. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's show business gone mad. <laughs> yeah, my feet are a bit cold, I think, now. <laughs> Did you enjoy your performance tonight? Yes, I did. I was a bit nervous because it's the first time performing it and I wanted, of course, to be perfect. <laughs> but I think it went uh, it went well. Yes, and I think you've got a good reception in the hall as well. Yeah, I think the audience liked it. That was amazing and I could enjoy it while I was singing. It was just before going on stage, I was a little bit nervous. But and we'll be hearing that song, I guess, on stage in Copenhagen. Yes, I'm going to perform it. And you'll be uh, perhaps opening the grand final, maybe? coming on in Copenhagen at the former shipyard. Do you know anything about that? How are they getting on? Yes, I've been out uh, at, at the halls, you know, yes, yes, yeah, as yeah, it's yeah. called, on the Eurovision island, mm -hmm. and I think it looks great. It's very raw and different from what you have seen before in Eurovision, but it's, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a unique location. Then. Yeah, actually it is. <laughs> well, I'm sure uh, we're all looking forward to coming to Copenhagen in May and yeah. seeing you perform again. And of course, you'll be hosting us, really. It's, it's because of you that we're all coming. <laughs> Anyway, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. It's been a great pleasure to see you again, and we'll see you in May. Thanks very much indeed, Emily. Thank you. And enjoy the travels around Europe.